with the government's push for the development of science, technology, engineering and mathematics, STEM in schools nationwide, the Ministry of Education has equipped several schools countrywide with science labs and information technology labs. Holding true to his commitment of restoring local democracy, His Excellency President David Granger over the last four years established four new towns. They include Bartica, Lethem, Mabaruma and Madia. The new towns have become the hub of economic development in the hinterland regions they represent. President Granger believes that every region must have a capital town to drive local economic empowerment. Schools in both the coastland and hinterland have benefited from new labs and facilities to aid the push for STEM in schools. The new labs at the Kanji Secondary School, Vrymans Irvin Secondary School and the Burbies Educational Institute BEI were completed in February 2019 to a tune of almost $45 million. And we trust that these facilities will be able to use to improve the um, classroom environment and certainly the learning of the students and to make um, teaching much more comfortable for teachers. Um, it's part of a large initiative where I usually would go around to see not only um, the commissioning, but to ensure that the standards are being met and the best practices, and I know where the gaps are so I can have my technical officers who will come behind me and ensure that they do the enforcement part. Before the commissioning of the labs, students at the Burbies Educational Institute were restricted to theoretical learning. According to the school's grade 11 students, the new lab enables them to do more practical work in preparation for their CSEC exams to be held in May and June annually. Former Regional Executive Officer of Region 6, Kim William Stephen, explained that the lab will create an environment conducive for creative learning. Anything that adds value to the people, in particular the students, the education development, of the, the children in East Burby's quarantine, um, we are happy to, to be a part of. We are indeed excited and the students are ready for the, to put it in good use. We are indeed excited and the students are ready for the, to put it in good use. Students of the New Amsterdam Primary School have joined the technology wave with the advent of the new information technology lab in the school. The lab, which consists of 12 computers and accompanying accessories, is estimated to cost $2 million and will serve all students from grades 2 to 6. Minister of Education Dr. Nicolette Henry commissioned the lab and during brief remarks reiterated the need for improved computer usage and knowledge from a very young age to inspire creativity in young minds and to expose students to a wider world of possibilities. Given where you are in the 21st century and you're... Um, you know, you are school children at primary school. We have to ensure that you are well equipped and that you're given the resources and the support to get a good education. And part of that is to have access to computers. And so you have to have a computer lab in order to be able to be proficient in the use of computer and to understand technology. Senior Master of the New Amsterdam Primary School, Leroy Mikkel, is confident that the students will develop a greater love for technology with the increased use of the IT lab. Mikkel said the aim is to have the students participate in the ever-evolving technological age. I'm here at New Amsterdam Primary. We want the children to be afforded all the opportunities that they can get, all the opportunities that the children in Georgetown are getting. We want them to be afforded that opportunities too. An opportunity to, and so you find that with technology and with our new lab, you'll be able to get better hands-on experience with way the way, in the way the which country is going with the um, move towards STEM and robotics and stuff like that. I just um, we just wanted them to be a part of it. The programs the children will be exposed to over a number of years range from foundation level courses to uses of computer programs and beginners robotics. As the Ministry of Education continues its effort to integrate information and communication technology into the school's curriculum, students of Potentia and Craig Primary Schools are now beneficiaries of two information technology labs. Delivering the feature address, Minister Henry urged the students to fully utilize the laboratory for the enhancement of their education. And I want our children in particular to ensure that they are using the labs for learning purposes 
I also would like to see a connectivity and a connection between these labs and the smart classroom programs. Technology enabling learning is very, very important for what is currently happening, not only here in Guyana, but in the world. The minister said both schools will be outfitted with robotic labs in 2020. This, she noted, is among other technology-based programs. Yoganan Indar Singh, head of the Management Information Systems Unit, called on teachers to explore options to fully utilize technology. But today with computers in the school, teachers have a richer avenue in which to impart learning. Students who are visual learners, auditory learners, can now have videos and sounds and images and manipulatives on their screen that they could use to, to engage in this learning process. The labs cost over $12 million, which includes installation of computers, printers, routers, and other devices. Students and teachers of Eccles and Tocqueville Primary Schools are beneficiaries of two new information technology laboratories commissioned in 2018. Minister Henry told the students that the initiative aims to bridge the gap and provide access to quality education and learning materials. We also want to ensure that all of our students are digitally literate. And we also want to ensure that our teachers and our educators have access to resources that are available online. And so this is very important for the transmission of data and information for education delivery. The minister urged the students to care for the equipment as it helps to further their education. Head of the Management Information Systems Unit also urged the teachers again to create a plan to foster advanced learning. InfoHub spoke to a few students about the initiative. I feel proud about my school because all computers are here. You could get to do anything you want to, but not destroy them. You could work with them. It could help you with anything you want. The two labs cost over $12 million collectively. Meanwhile, students and teachers alike of the Brigdam Secondary School are now boasting about improvements to their science laboratory since the relocation of the secondary institution from Brigdam to East Le Penitence. Previously, the learning institution was facing a number of challenges. However, with a better upgraded facility, students are much more comfortable and are willing to work. According to one of the science teachers, Ansel Wilson, Compared to the previous laboratory, the students are way more comfortable and are better focused at their lessons. This is a larger laboratory. It's more spacious. Um, we have to accommodate more students. Uh, we have a little more equipment, more chemicals to conduct analysis. And it's, the environment is healthy. It's not as stuffy as the old, old previous laboratory. The facility is equipped with microscopes, gas, petri dishes, adequate chemicals for experiments, stools, and several other science supplies and items, which are available and can be utilized during teaching periods. The educator says his former science students were testimonies of how an improved environment can foster satisfactory results. He explained that the students have all done excellently, obtaining grades 1s and 2s. This year can hold a larger class. Right? because it has to have more workstations. But this lab, if I may say, serves as a chemistry lab, a biology lab, and a physics laboratory. Right? And we're able to conduct most of our activities, if not all of the activities, in three subjects in this very laboratory. So it's very active. Wilson said prior to the improvements, both students and teachers would sometimes face challenges. Sarah Wilson remains adamant that with the new working environment, the performance of students and his teaching methods have improved tremendously. Well, the former class, the former class, we had more of the grades was between one and twos, right? And it was a very large class, there were 25 of them. Well, I feel elated, knowing that some of the students I had with the last class literally give me more grade here than I already have. I should put it that way. It had to be, it, was not, it wasn't easy. So I was surprised that some of them who and if expected. Former fifth former Robin McKenzie is one of the happy students who now enjoys a more productive classroom. We didn't have as many tables as we have now, probably like one main table or so. And the teachers were more clustered than they were now. So it wasn't 
more distributed. I can't remember there being a proper storage room or at least a big, a big storage room as there is now. STEM will play an integral part in Guyana's development in the decade of development and beyond. Education in Guyana is rapidly changing to reflect 21st century learning standards for Guyanese students. Already, interventions in education have been paying off, resulting in significant improvements in performance and attendance. Recognizing that land allocation alone could not adequately meet the housing demands of citizens, the coalition government, through the Central Housing and Planning Authority, constructed over 280 homes. These included elevated, two-storied, flat and low-income duplexes. Also made available were single, elevated, single, flat, two and three bedroom homes. Families are now comfortably occupying their new homes at Underneeming on the West Bank of Demerara. Perseverance and Prospect on the East Bank, Hope Experiment on the West Coast of Burbies, and Amelia's Ward in Linden. <music>